I'm here to show you Descara Books e-invoicing. But first, I am pleased to inform you that Descara e-invoicing is compliant with the Singapore's nationwide e-invoicing initiative. This is to improve efficiency, reduce cost, faster payment, and staying green. Now I'm at the sign-in page for Descara applications. This is where you can input your email and password and sign in. If you do not have an account, you can click up Sign Up Now. Inside here, you can put in your email address, input in your phone number, and then you can click Create Account. Inside here, you'll fill in your account details, you put in your password, your company name, and that you agree to the terms of use and policy. After you click Next, you can personalize your account, or you can skip that. And then it says, thank you for signing up. You should now see a screen that says, please verify your email address. After you've signed up, you'll be asked to verify your email address. After you've verified your email address, you'll get a welcome mail from Descara. I am now back in the sign-in screen. This is where I can put in my email, my password, and sign in. Once I've signed in, I can see my Descara suites. I'm going to click on Descara Books. Now I've logged into Descara Books. I can start inputting my organization information, such as my tax registry, Singapore, financial start date, book beginning date. I can input my address, put in my GST number, put in my UEN number, and now I can opt in for e-invoicing. So if I click the checkbox, I can input my PEPO ID. If I don't, I can click on registration instructions. I can download the authorization letter, print it on company letterhead, sign, stamp, and email it to e-invoicing at discara.sg with additional details in the email with name, designation, telephone number, and contact email, and wait to receive confirmation from Descara. After you've downloaded the authorization letter, you fill in all the necessary information, get it signed, get it stamped, and then email it to Descara. Now you can input your PEPO ID and save. Now let's create a contact. You select the auto format, you put in the contact's name, you input the email address, you put in the UEN number, then you put in the PEPO ID. Your contact has to have a PEPO ID or he will not be able to receive the e-invoicing. Now, if this contact is part of the Singapore government, then you're going to have to click contact of Singapore government. You're going to have to put in the business unit and the attention to. The contact of the Singapore government is specifically for e-invoicing. Then you can click next, input the billing address, click next, and save. Now let's create an invoice. Click on cell, click create new, click new invoice. Then we're gonna add contact, we're gonna select the product, and we're gonna save. After saving the invoice, you go to these three dots, you click send e-invoice, and an invoice should be sent successfully if they have the proper ID. And that's a quick look at e-invoicing. If you register now on the e-invoicing network, you'll receive $200. On the webpage, imda.gov.sg slash e-invoice, you can find out more. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.